Hey, Mary, did you uh, you you sang the 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 latest uh, version of the awesome Gary tune, right? Yes, I have. Yeah, this one's for our old boss, uh, Dave Dickless, there at AF. Dave Dickless. Uh, who didn't understand WOW and he took it away from us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Foundry Steve and Opera Mary put this together. <laughs> our day is a Dickless day. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Is that this Mary? You're welcome. Huh? This is this I said you're welcome. Opera Mary, yes, she Jim to, Norton. She used to sing opera. Mary, you really used to sing opera? I, I've been classically trained. I studied voice for over eight years. We should have her do a duet with Opera Man downstairs. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually went to school. I went to college for that I, for almost three years. Where do you go to opera college? Yeah. You go to a you go to a, a school that just has a music program. I like four of them had a good school. What, how, I don't remember seeing that when I was looking at the SUNY book. Like, mm, I'm an, I, I want to go into opera. <laughs> opera school. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Potsdam has classical. an opera program. How, I'm going to open up a little opera shop. Right. How boring with the parties on a Friday. Everybody get around a piano and sing. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I have to say, in that field, people are annoying like that. And everywhere you go, if there's any kind of instrument or even just like a table to pound on, they'll break out. Ah, uh, like the movie Fame, those jizz bags. How uh. annoying. Sing Hot Lunch. <laughs> hot Lunch. Dude, hot it was lunch. really like that. That was that one of those annoying groups in high school, like the play kids, you know? Yeah, yeah They would yeah. always sing and try to act. All right, Mary. Hot Lunch. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. See you tonight, Angel. Uh, what were you saying? We've got to get Mary one of those hats with the horns on it so she could sing some opera, you know? Like, <laughs> wouldn't that be funny? We can just throw her on there and have her sing a little opera with the horns on her head. <laughs> All right, Mary. Thank you, Mary. Bye. Bye. I hate school of the arts, like high school students who have to like be musical everywhere, man. We're going to make it, man. No, you're not. I'm going to the top. I'm going to be a star. And they're singing in the cafeteria. Yeah. Running around the streets, fame! I wanna live forever. They're jumping on the table, dancing. Ugh! The movie, it's the show. Stop. stop it. The movie was good for my teenage. Stop it. Gene Anthony Ray. We know, know he was. Stop it. Well, he was stop it. And Mira. Awful. The Craig movie had... was horrid. No, just... The show was horrid. Agree. Agree. Hey guys, the show who was cares? Awful. Yeah. Well, just two men discussing <laughs> films, discussing fame. You know. So what? Fame. <laughs> Ted, what's up? <laughs> Hey, you guys. Yeah. Hey, hey O&A, I love you guys. Yeah, man. Yeah, no, I mean, you suck, Thank rather. You. Okay. Thank you. And you particularly suck today. You're picking on opera singers. Um, what, you think we're different from you guys? Yes. Did we pick on opera singers? Yeah, I you're guess not, so. You're an opera singer? I'm an opera singer. Give me a little. Yeah, belt, All right. belt something out. You ready? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Bravissimo! That was Italian. Very good. Wow, that's really good. The phones cannot handle opera. Do you notice that? Did you? Phones no, just well, go I to crap. To it away. There's too much stuff going on for the phone line. Did you go to I op know. you go to opera college too? I sure did. I went to Carnegie Mellon University out in Pittsburgh, which is great for like computer science, but it also has a good music program. And what are you well, doing? You, you ever hear like you got Juilliard, you got Manhattan School of Music? Yeah. You go to school for this. Ted, we're just jealous. Don't worry about it. I know. No, um, no, no, what, no. what do you do so, with your opera? What do I do? Yeah. Uh, I was just in Florida for three months doing an apprenticeship with Sarasota Opera. That kicked ass. You spent three months in in Sarasota, Florida. I, I don't know. You know where that is? It's like south of yeah. Tampa. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. It's like a big vacation. And you, you just sing. You just sing some opera with uh, some people. With a lot of people. In yeah, front of uh, in front of crowds? Like in big front crowds? Of crowds. Who's the best opera singer in the world? Is it Pavarotti the best one? That's ah, me. Oh, he's a little cocksure. Pavarotti no, actually no, no, brings no. his own toilet from gig to gig. He's so fat. This is true. <laughs> Thank Stop you. It. Absolutely Thank true. You. He has his own toilet on tour with him because he's a monster. But how does oh, he... About, they, they, well, he's you about Pavarotti? I thought you were talking about me. No, no, okay. Pavarotti. <laughs> this is true, dude. Pavarotti has his own toilet shipped from city to city because I guess he's tired of trying to... Si Can you hold on one second, sir? No, Can you, one second. he can't. Ted, you know, every time they stop the show when they have intermissions, they eat the full-course meal. Ah, uh, Ted? Yeah. It's not all about you. Hold, Hold on. on. Hold on Hold one on. second, right. Angel Eyes. <laughs> um, listen, uh, listen for a little bit. Uh, all right. He brings his own, because, you know, it's got to be tough to actually take a dump like a human being. Right. So fat, awful Pavarotti has his toilet shit. Now, I don't understand. Imagine how do they that type out? it? I, I, how do they... How do they connect it to plumbing? Well, I don't, but dude, I'm sure they can do it in a hotel. I mean, they can think it. Well, no, winds this, up wait, 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 wait. Dude, this sounds. We're calling you out on look, this. Look, look. Right. I'm no no definitely one, calling you out on this. Yeah, no one gets their toilet shit from gig to gig. Unless it's a huge, uh, uh, like toilet. It's a whole bathroom on no. the back of a truck that that. It, 
but they cannot just take a toilet and start doing major plumbing renovations in a hotel room bathroom. When you're, when you're in a hotel, yes, they can't just take the toilet off and put a new toilet on. Dude, no, where do you mean, read this? You probably could, but you'd have a huge <laughs> yeah. problem with. No, you wouldn't. I mean, oh, it, the, the hotels can allow you to remove their Pavarotti? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Venice Red, dude. I am. I'm telling you, <laughs> unless it's hooked up a different way, but he brings his own special toilet seat. Norton's probably in heaven thinking that someday he'll be able to do this. A hotel room with my own toilet. Where I can lay underneath it and have a gal sit there. And... <laughs> you know how he is with his hotel rooms. I want my own toilet. Maybe Stinky. Pavarotti does it. Maybe uh, Stinky was in the room right after uh, Pavarotti. Pavarotti, was. and it was just some of the, they dumped the we rest of the toilet. Bathtub, he, but it was Pavarotti's, Pavarotti's toilet. toilet. He's a 300-pound our Jim is a gullible Jim. <laughs> Jim. Dude, no, I actually Where did you read it. this? Where did you read this? Prove this. You heard this. It's a total rumor. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it is. There is no way he has, he has a crew has... of plumbers that follow him around. One guy. To, to uh, uh, move a toilet and then replace it with his personal you toilet. Know, he also to get on the stage. He has to be lifted to walk up to a stage. He's too fat. He has to be lifted. <laughs> to get onto a stage. All right, Ted, hold on a second. I'm going back to you in a second. It's true. Uh, someone's going to back you up, Jim. It's true. Julio. What's up, everyone? Hey, what's up? Down by yeah, the schoolyard. What's going on? It's true about um, uh, Pavarotti. That son of a bitch carries his own toilet. Thank you. Each gig. He has an intermission. He has a four-course meal, and he's got to take a dump. Someone so. find that story for us. It's it's true. It's true. Where do you find it's, out about this? I read it in the papers also. I read it in um, the Time magazine. I read it. It was somewhere like that. I read it also in the Daily News. It's a true story. All right. Thank you. Thank you, All Angel right. Face. Uh, another guy's going to back you up. I still don't. Uh, I, I'm not, I'm not I, buying it. Dude, it's absolutely true. do not believe this. Listen, listen everyone yes. has weird little. When you're that, when you're one of the, you're probably, he's probably the biggest opera singer in the world. Uh -huh. You can make certain weird demands. For us, that's weird. But when you're the biggest opera singer in the as a comic, I work with Dice. Dice gets amenities. Can I can I ask you and something? He's a comic. Let me ask you something. Oh right. I know, being in the uh, HVAC uh, business uh, for a while, the heating and air conditioning business for a while, I worked with many of the trades. I worked with electricians, with plumbers, and other HVAC guys. I've seen many many toilet installations. They are not that difficult. Right. I do understand that. And for the most part, in the United States, very standardized. The bolt patterns, okay. everything, the diameter of the pipe, very standardized across the country. You go to... Now, this guy tours the world. You go to Japan or Russia or uh, somewhere else, th the toilets are going to be different. Does he have toilets that are adaptable to all those different pipes and and screw mounting positions. I don't know. It's possible. It is ridiculous to assume that he has a toilet for every nation. <laughs> bring, <sighs> bring my Japanese a toilet. But he, it, I need the Japanese a toilet today. How is he thinking about such? A, maybe he does. Maybe it, it, it has its own, like a, you know, like a porta john. I don't know. Right. Maybe a porta john. I Someone's I, get... We're arguing Pavarotti's toilet. Yeah, but what? Two men just getting turned on. <laughs> Harry, what's up? Hey, he doesn't bring his own toilet. He brings like his own seat, like seat. a baby seat. Oh, his toilet seat. Okay, my. And, it, right, and it's, it's like <laughs> a funnel. Oh yeah, my man. God, that's completely different. Then well, I'm he just brings saying, a so toilet his seat. Sit. Okay, I'll agree oh, with that. That we can agree with. You're we are in agreement. Like that, that the whole toilet has to come out. And, and, and they no, you guys a plumber. said that. You said toilet, not toilet, toilet seat. All right, I meant seat. So, toilet no, seat. I, no, I, honestly, I have no clue. I was just had to go with Norton. Norton rules. Yeah, that, the toilet seat it might be the deal. But I don't remember. What do I that would make more sense. Get what? Get what? Oh, 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 let, me, let me come across. Uh, let me, wait, Steve from Foundry Music will... I uh, love right. the just, internet! I just found Pavarotti's tour rider online. Oh, and uh, he, he, in the dressing room, he, uh, one of the stipulations is that he needs a toilet supplied with soft toilet paper and soap. All right. Uh, all sofas should be... Well, wait, set. toilet supply? Yeah. That just means, yeah, hey, means I need to take a dump There's back there. There better be a toilet back there. Uh, a toilet with soft paper for his delicate butt. Uh, that delicate Italian ass. But they may have requirements on the toilet bowl size. No distinct <laughs> smells anywhere near the artist. There can't be flowers. Wow, no smoking, of course. Oh, well, I guess Tom can't be backstage at a Pavarotti show. It doesn't say his toilet. HVAC has to be quiet. <laughs> what is that? Towels, eight towels. 
But nothing about a toilet. He needs a golf cart to move around in. Yeah, all right. Uh, How many pages is his rider? Five. As it should be. He's got a five-page rider. We ought to send this exact rider with Opie and Anthony wherever Pavarotti That's is right. to the next road show. We want toilet. We want the exact rider sent to the next city. Soft tissue. We're bringing a plumbing crew with us when we hit the road next. All right. Uh, God, that's great. John, what's going on? Yeah. John. Hey, uh, uh, by the way, I love this show on hold. <laughs> uh, uh, cool. Uh, yeah. Hey, listen, anyone can come up and be an opera singer. I, I don't believe that guy was an opera singer, and I'll give you some proof. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, John. Un untrained. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. yeah. You don't sound okay. like an opera singer. Well, well you know, he's on, not hold on, bad. I'm hold on. I'm going to go back to Thanks. Ted. Ted, beat out John. Yeah. Beat him out? Yeah, go ahead. All right. You ready? Hold yeah. the phone further away. All right, I'll hold it further away. Okay. <laughs> give us one good okay. give us one good high note. One good high note? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that high enough? Wow. He's oh, a wow. real opera singer. All right, hold on. I want to go back to... Wow. All right. You know, this is kind of hard because I'm sitting in the no, car here. No, it's Get a hold of yourself. Yeah. Uh, like, John. <laughs> great. John. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Beat that, John. <laughs> okay. Hold on a second. Now, wait. I'm trained now. Ready? Yeah. yeah. You're not. Okay. I'm going to put the phone away from me so I don't blow out your telephone. Go ahead. <laughs> He's not trained. Of course I'm not trained. <laughs> it sounds like something coming out of the Yates bathroom. <laughs> love you, Norton. Love you, Norton. My life. All right. Well, what's uh, his name, John? Hey, Ted. Yeah. Uh, John hung up, so you won okay. that. Yeah, you that won the battle good. of the John, opera singer. Yeah. I want to say this. Honestly, John, you sound a lot better than a lot of the people I, I have sung with. Yeah, the I guy actually to. has some natural ability so there, So, dude, didn't who he? is yeah. the best in the world? Is, is, it, is it Pavarotti or is it is one of the other two? There's three tenors, right? Is it him or the, one of the other two? Well, I'll tell you right now. Two of them are great. One of them uh, is uh, an unfortunate case because he got sick with cancer. Oh, wow. And the Ouch. reason he's famous is because he right. beat cancer. Well, who's but he's the best? he's a great artist. All who's right. the best? I don't know. I like Pavarotti. Okay. I like Placido Domingo. I like them both. All right, hey, I Ted. I love Jose Carreras. I don't know. Ted, before yeah. we put everyone to sleep. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank uh, you. Uh, can you um, send us some um, some <laughs> opera stuff? Send you some opera stuff? Yeah, like, uh, I don't know, do a little little something for the show, like uh, it's Whip Him Out Wednesday oh, on the little, Opie and Anthony show, yeah. so, something like that. Oh. What, what do you mean, like to record something? Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll that would be great. It, we'll play it for the whole country if it comes out good. I will do that. Do you want me to come down and record it there? Oh, you're you're in the New York area. Yeah, that could be cool. Yeah, yeah actually, New Jersey. Oh yeah, come on in and uh, and we'll do some with Steve. Hold on right. the line. I'm serious. We're gonna give it a try. All right, sure. All right. Oh wait, wait. <laughs> Here's the story, Opie. Big potty for Roddy's body. <laughs> so it says. Heavyweight opera singer uh, Pavarotti is bringing an enormous toilet with him when he performs in London next month. Britain's The Sun newspaper reports that the uh, 160 kilogram star. <laughs> what? The metrics. That's like stop <laughs> forcing the metrics on us. They suck. I no believe this them. is a British uh, website I'm I'm dealing with. I uh, had the lavatory specially made to take the uh, Pavarotti body when he's away for international gigs. So that sounds like it's a whole thing that maybe goes in a truck and he can step up, okay. go in the trailer, go into an enormous uh, bathroom. That makes sense. Uh, having a team of plumbers with wrenches and wax seals and whatnot <laughs> I to fasten the bowl I down. I didn't break it down like that. I just said he goes with his Wire own toilet. Wire suspension things on the side like you're, a bridge. You know what? You're thinking about technical. It. I don't know anything about how it goes, and you're talking about the different pipe settings in, in our Japan. And well, all you these, know, they crap it all. A little floor. bit about a lot of things. If you, right, th you, if you think about it, Jim was right. I was, I was it, right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you know. I said you, he brings his own turlet. You broke it down. You went on the technicality, my friend. Well, yeah, I was going to give it to Jim. Can imagine, can you imagine uh, your your job is uh, to get, to remove the uh, Pavarotti waste? Uh. Yeah, or to scrape the fecal matter out so when they lift it up, it doesn't spill all out all over the dock. <laughs> <laughs> Little Kettner boy. <laughs> that pig, why doesn't he stop eating? <laughs>
Disgusting indulgence. That's got to be the worst job in the world. <laughs> Just shoving food to his fat, bearded face. How come, why do opera singers have to be fat? That annoys me. That toilet was Pavarotti's toilet, and those beaches will be open. It's the 4th of July. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Wipe, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Oh, here we go. Saw Pavarotti eat a rocking chair once. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll cut uh, it. <laughs> oh, boys, he's here for his noon area. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that big selfish fool. <laughs> oh. Pavarotti does indeed have his own toilet. Thanks. Okay. One goes to Norton. There you go. Thank you. Here it is. Now we know more than we've ever wanted to know about Pavarotti's toilet. And you know what my grandmother used to say? I was talking about people speeding around before, and this is why you got to slow down and look at the wows. Whenever somebody would drive really fast, because my grandmother drove slow, she'd always look out the window and go, Speedy Skippy. Speedy Skippy? Yeah, so don't be a Speedy Skippy. <laughs> you are a tool. She would say that. She was old. Anyone who was going faster than her, anyone <laughs> on the road she thought was speeding. People on skateboards and speedy skippy. People that used to play Superman. Anybody flying by her <laughs> on the road. Notice how I changed the joke and I don't say his name. <laughs> God, one trick pony zero. <laughs> Faggot with two thoughts. All right, well, I'm going to break.